know it's occurred to me as I'm flying around here if I just simply um, remove this set the flooring here and the ramp and this back section here um, actually yeah, if I take out that if I leave that you know, I'm uh, hmm, I'm trying to think how big the size of do is, and it, like width wise, and I believe it's actually um, a lot wider than this is. Where is it? Let's pull this one out. Put it there. Want the one nanite facility. <coughs> so if I find the place marker so it's two blocks wide and it is um, let's see starting from the green one so that's one two three four five six seven eight Nine. We're going to have about ten blocks long, two blocks wide. So, oh, fuck, hit that thing. So if I, no, I'd have to strip it right back. That's not a big issue. Just thought it might be a little bit wider than it actually is. Um, because I intend to put armor blocks around it to try and add some durability to it. Hmm. No matter. Um, so far I've picked up 782 blocks and I stripped out two, the two blocks there and one in the back behind the remote control block because that was trying to annoy me. Um, so yeah. It's going to carry on. Grind. Oh. Ah, there's a th thruster here. There's another large, small one. They're for down thrusters, aren't they? Is there just the one in this one? Oh, the other one seems to have been ripped off or something. Uh, shit. Hmm. Oh dear. It doesn't make too much difference. It just means I've now got to figure out where I'm going to put them. Hmm. Oh no, I'll take that one off and then I'll. Uh, I'll come back to it when I, because I, so I always, I always have the components there. So when we start putting the thrusters in, we can. Uh, oh fucking hell! Uh, we can put in the thrusters where we want them, and then we'll have the resources there, so it won't be an issue. So, back to grinding. So, my inventory suddenly managed to find itself fairly full. Um, oh, why was nickel in there still? Hmm. Okay. There you go. There we go. Okay, so we're getting a load of ice from all of this. That's handy. Um, that's fine. Um, I 
What's that missing? Nickel, magnesium. Right. Okay, I have to figure out why at a later date. Um, this, yeah, pick up that. This shouldn't take long at all. Um, so I'm just going to fast forward. Well, I'm going to actually try uh, fast forwarding for the first time. If it comes out great, then I'll, then yes, I'll leave it in. If not, then I'll just be, it'll just be a skip. So, eh, yeah. here we go. Um, while I'm going through this, the gr grinding, uh, I want to have a quick talk about this week's uh, patch, which is 1.140 for stable branch and 1.144 for dev branch. Uh, this is direct off the Space Engineers Facebook page and it says uh, this week's update brings some animation improvements as well as more bug fixes. We are adding inverse uh, kinematics, I think I say it. Anyway, uh, that support the new, oh god, support the new animation system applied to all characters and fauna. Uh, this prevents feet from clipping through the terrain in most situations. We've also created a new idle animation for the sp sabroids, which is the spiders you can find on the alien world. Lastly, character tool and weapon Im movements have been smoothed out and their positions have been improved. Today's update to the stable branch contains all bug fixes from the past month, however it does not yet include new features like the new building system and modding changes. For those, jump over to the dev branch to check them out. Uh, I'll put a link to that in the description below, where you can have a look at it yourself. I've had a look at the video that came with it. Uh, that was actually quite interesting. It was quite nice to see the actual improvements take uh, taking form because I do like to see the improvements week by week I do miss the weekly uh, updates but I have to be honest I do like this new two branch system for me personally because uh, I, I shouldn't get as many bugs and whatnot. And for those who are doing storylines and stuff like Captain Jack, Wasted Space, uh, Shaq over on the XP Gamers, uh, Morph, being Morphologists, uh, and a whole host of other lads out there who are doing a uh, very very in-depth story using space engineers bugs and whatnot do kind of ruin it so having the two branch thing like that does make life a lot easier for us as players it does just mean though that uh, the devs have to work harder suppose I'm to try and support two copies of the game I would assume but suppose when they've got the suppose when they've got the month of uh, patches and whatnot fixed and all, they can just uh, essentially copy and paste it over to the stable branch from the dev branch, and then everything should all be good to go. So, uh, yeah, I suppose that works out well. But yeah, um, let yeah, let me know what you think in the comments below, and yeah, that'd be really cool to uh, have good discussion on it. Uh, you can also hit me up about it on Twitter and Facebook. I'll put the links to those in the description below. Um, I'll also put in the link to my Steam group and the Patreon page. Uh, I will be doing a video 
announcing the fact I actually do have it and what I want to do with Patreon and things like that. And I want to try and get you guys involved into it. Not necessarily uh, for just for Space Engineers, but for the games as well, which I have in mind. I'll be doing a few pilot episodes here and there. So uh, that would be really good. I also want to um, start having a go at introducing uh, patrons and whatnot into bolt action a little bit. Have a laugh, see what happens. Because uh, today I did a game with my friend Mark. Uh, you'll find that video over in the uh, one of the normal bolt action playlists I've got going on. Um, whether it'll be out as, as far as when this video comes out, I cannot say. I don't think it will, but if it is, then please take a look. That that was a lot of fun to do. There were some really good moments in that. Um, yeah, it was a really good game. And we're thinking of holding some more uh, insane games like that, though on a much, much bigger scale. How much bloody further have I got? Oh, fucking hell, two more rows. Fine. Um, so yeah, I want to start getting patients into bolt action. How I'm going to do it, I'm not entirely sure yet. So any comments and whatnot, um, please let me know. I'm happy to have any ideas. I really am. So yeah, let me know and see what you come up with. Anyway, back to Space Engineers. When I've got the nacelle sorted out, I'm just going to put the um, frame in for the Sage Thruster. I can do that later on because I'm going to have to build, start building the docking bay, or the hangar rather, for the miner, which I'm going to have to well I want to kind of re jig around just a little bit because during the test flight of it I noticed it needed some more gyroscopes, it also needs some more thrusters everywhere and whatnot so I'm gonna have to do that. Um also going to arm this up. I also want to add another connector onto the back. So I have three connectors, which will give me the added bonus of a little bit more storage in there. And also, I can use multiple docking ports if I need to. I'm also thinking of putting a, a few more cargo containers onto it um, as well. So I have another one there, two there. and. Uh, possibly two more then have a third one over here and the same on that side maybe uh, just to really add some even more cargo space on there uh, maybe no yeah there yeah, yeah. let me know what you think of that plan but as of right now the miners are sitting there full of ore and I have yet to figure out a way to try and get it all back in to the main ship without having to spend my entire life pulling out 10k at a time because there is I think over a couple of million tons of ore in there and I'm not doing it at 10k at a time so no energy is always low so I'm going to have to build a a quick docking bay uh, and then go from there.
But yeah, back to the super speed for a bit. 